Hey, my name is Bhumani Kola. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new to my channel, this channel is all about educational tools, tips, and technology. So if you don't want to miss out on all the fun, please make sure you subscribe. YouTube tells me that 90% of my viewers did not subscribe for my channel. Leave a comment in the comment section below. Let me know how can I improve and win your subscription. Microsoft has announced a new poll in Teams meeting called Word Cloud that keeps the audiences, attendees, students engaged during your meetings, presentations, or your classes. Word Cloud is an excellent way to reflect your students' opinions, your audience's feelings, and it also gives the presenter or an educator an option or choice to have an open-ended question to your students or attendees. I kind of use this in my class on a regular basis to take a quick quiz, attendance, or even to see what the understanding level of my class is. So in today's session, I will be talking all about Microsoft Word Cloud from setting up to using it in different ways in your classrooms and in your presentation. So without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. So here I am in my Teams calendar. I've created a sample meeting so I can demonstrate the word cloud. I'm going to go ahead and click on that. I'm going to click on edit. Here my objective is to go ahead and add the word cloud or Microsoft Forms to my meeting so I can launch the poll before or during the meeting. To do that, I'm going to go ahead and click on the plus sign. I'm going to type in forms and it's right here. If you don't find it on your screen, go ahead and type in forms and you'll have it right here. So let's go ahead and click on that. I'm going to click add and I'm going to save this and voila you have added your polls to your meetings. Now let's go ahead and create a word cloud poll. I'm going to click on create new. I'm not interested in the first two. I'm going to click on word cloud. I'm going to type in how are you feeling today? And let's go ahead and take a look at the options. Here you have an option that is by default checked in that says share word cloud with respondents. Microsoft wants to make the meeting or your classes much more engaging. So by default, this has been checked. What happens when you check this is students can see one another's answers and they also have an ability to give it a thumbs up. So if you want to share that, please go ahead and do that. I usually don't check this when I'm giving a quick quiz in my classes. But for now, I'm going to leave that. And the next one is keep responsible responses anonymous because I'm an educator I never check this one because I always want to see how many answers my students put in and who put in what and the next one is if you are co-teaching a class and you want the teacher to edit or give a quick poll or give a quick question during your classes you might want to go ahead and check this this is very useful if you are co-teaching with another teacher I'm going to uncheck this one and I'm going to go ahead and save the draft. And once this is done, I'm going to go ahead and join the meeting so I can show you how the experience is going to be when I launch this poll. I'm going to go ahead and expand this one. As you can see, I've created the poll. To go ahead and launch the poll, I'm going to click on this forms right here. And as you can see, the poll is right here waiting for me to launch. I'm going to click launch. As soon as I launch it, students will see this window popping up on the screen. And I'm going to pretend I'm a student. I'm going to say, great. I'm feeling great today. Students can answer as many times as they want until you close the poll. I'm going to say hungry because yes, I am hungry right now. And I'm also tired from teaching three classes today. I'm going to go ahead and click submit. And as you can see, as I'm typing in, you can see the number of responses increasing. What if I'm a student that I don't want to type in, but I look at others' answers and I want to make sure I give it a thumbs up? You can, you and your students can do that as well. When you hover over any of the answer that somebody else typed in, as you can see, you have an ability to give it a thumbs up. So I'm going to give great a thumbs up. And as soon as I give that, the response number changes. And... I'm going to give hungry a thumbs up too. And as you can see, the response number changes. Let's see. There you go. And now let's just say I close this one. Students have an ability to type in the answers from the chat window as well. So I can close and open my chat window, which is right here. Students have an ability to type in the answers. I'm just going to say great one more time. And I'm going to click submit. And because you had an option to share your word cloud with respondents, all they have to do is click on more and the window pops up and they can go ahead and start liking or 
typing in their answers. Keep in mind, students can type in multiple times and like almost every other student's option here. So let me close this one and let's go back here. Let me pause or close the poll. I'm going to go ahead and close the poll. And as an educator, all you have to do is click on response details. And here it gives you a detailed response. Let me go back here, which I can show you much better. And I'm going to click on response details. As you can see, I'm the only one answering. So I have typed in great, but it does not show you which student liked or typed in, but it's going to show you what the student input is. Because I liked and typed great one, two, three, four times, it says my name and my option. I even typed in hungry, tired. So it gives you a detailed description, but it does not tell you who liked or typed. So that's one thing you might want to take a look at. Now that we've seen how to create and share the poll, let's go ahead and see how we can use this to quickly quiz our students in our class or maybe even take attendance. Let me go ahead and click on create new. I'm going to click on word cloud. I'm just going to say the answer to question five. And here, if this is a quiz and you do not want your students to see what the other students have typed in. Make sure you uncheck share word cloud respondents and go ahead and save it. I'm going to go back to my meeting here. Keep in mind, you have an option to create your word cloud from right here by clicking on forms or from the chat window that I just used. As you can see, I have created a draft. I'm going to go ahead and launch this one. And here I'm going to type in let's just say 115 is my answer i'm going to click submit let me type in one more response i'm going to say 225 i'm just randomly typing in something and as you can see the response number is changing what i want to show you is the difference between when you share and you don't share in this particular case i did not share the results with my respondents so these are the ones that i typed in when i click on my chat window here as you can see, the previous poll, I have shared what uh, my students have typed in with one another. So they have an option to see the word cloud, but here they don't have an option to see the word cloud. If you're trying to quiz your students, maybe this is a good option. Just say the answer for question five is and let them type in. And once this is done, I'm going to go back to my forms and I'm going to, which one is this? I'm going to close the poll. And here I'm going to click on response details. Let me go back to the previous window. So here are my responses. And as you can see, I have the answer and the name next to it. Keep in mind, you did not share the word cloud with the other students. So the other students don't have an option to copy off their classmates. They have to type in. And if they did not type in an answer, by default, their name will not be here. So this is a quick way to even quiz your students or even take attendance. Maybe type in... What is your favorite word or did you eat your breakfast today or something like that where you can catch the students during that particular time. I try to take attendance during the class time, like right the first 10 minutes. And I also quiz them at the end of the class. Just want to make sure my students are staying with me throughout my class time because, hey, I took all the time to prepare for my classes and I don't want them to be watching some random gaming while I'm teaching. So this is a quick way to gauge and see what your class and your students are understanding based on what you're teaching. I hope you enjoyed this quick session on how to create your Microsoft Word cloud during or before your meetings or your classes and grab your students and your attendees attention. If you did, please make sure you like and subscribe. And if you think it's worth sharing, please go ahead and do so because you and me both know they are educators who are struggling to keep their students attention. Did you know we now have a Facebook page where you can connect with me and exchange educational thoughts? I'll leave a link in the description box below for Microsoft Teams, Canvas and technology playlist. Do not forget to check them out. And please don't forget to comment in the comment section below what you like and dislike about Microsoft Word Cloud. Like always, happy teaching and please take care of yourself.